In this video, I'm going to show you how to import prospects into Pardot. So here we are in the Pardot Lightning application. Now, Pardot is connected to Sales Cloud. So it is possible, depending on your settings, that if you add a new lead or contact within Salesforce, it will automatically create a corresponding prospect within Pardot. For this video, though, I'm going to show you how you would import prospects directly into Pardot. You know, so not necessarily in Salesforce at all. And so the way you do that is click on the Prospects tab across the top, and that brings you to that main Prospects list view. And in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a button that says Import Prospects. So from here, it's going to take us through the process of importing a CSV of prospects uh, in, into Salesforce. So the first option we get here is to either create and update prospects using a Salesforce lead or contact ID, or to create or update prospects based on email address. Now, if you had exported some report of leads or contacts from Salesforce and you wanted to import them to, say, assign them all to a list or, or tag them, something along those lines, then a lead or contact ID is the way to go because you're guaranteed to get the person you're expecting to get the right record. Um, if you're importing a list of people from outside of Salesforce, let's say a list of email addresses from a trade show or from business cards or somewhere else, maybe a different email program, then you definitely want to match based off email address because you don't have that lead or contact ID. Uh, before we move on, though, if you look at the bottom, you can see past imports are going to show up here, which can be quite helpful. Uh, and then these numbers for created or updated records, you can actually click through uh, in these numbers and, and see the actual prospect records that, that this is referring to. So let's create or update based on email address and let's choose our CSV file. There we go, prospects. And go ahead and check the box for the uh, permission-based marketing policy. Uh, it's definitely good to read through this, but essentially you're saying that whoever you're importing into Pardot for the purpose of emailing, uh, they've agreed to receive your emails and they've opted in. Go ahead and click next. And then we're on step two, mapping the fields. So it usually does a pretty good job on its own. As you can see, it's, it's automatically selected, you know, email, job title, company, all of that. That looks good. Other thing to note is first name and last name are separate columns. You definitely want to break out a first name and last name into their own columns before you do the import. So that's all looking good. Uh, we don't really need to overwrite any existing data. And then hit next. Next option is going to have you select a campaign. So every prospect within Pardot must be associated with a campaign. Uh, and it's good to think of Pardot campaigns as the source campaign. It's not about a marketing touch necessarily, it's about where they came from. So in this case, you know, I'm just gonna use rotov.io tracking as a fallback, uh, but it, you could set this up and it might be a specific uh, list or trade show or something else. And then you can choose to change the campaign for existing prospects or to not, I'm just gonna say not. And then let's hit next. Okay, so under actions, we can now choose to import the prospects and add them to a list, which is most common. We, or we could just import prospects, forget the list side of things. Um, you could import them and remove them from a list if they're already in the system. You know, or we can import prospects and global opt out. This one's really good when you're first uh, moving onto Pardot from a different system, like say MailChimp or Constant Contact. You already have an established list of people who have opted out. Um, you can take that list of people and you can import the prospects and global opt them out within Pardot to make sure you're not accidentally sending emails to people who, who said they didn't want to receive them anymore. In this case, we'll just say import prospects and then hit next. Um, so we've got step 4A because I actually said import prospects and add to list. So let me hit back here and let's just skip the list part. There we go. That takes us to step 5 which is a summary. You can review your settings and then hit confirm and save when you're ready to do the import. 
Hitting confirm and save brings you all the way back to step one, and then you can see the status of your import at the bottom, along with all of your uh, historical imports as well. So I hope that that helps you get your prospects into Pardot, and thanks for watching.